hi there, Team Hudson. So we are back with another episode of Pokemon Volt White 2. By now, I should probably be back from Canada and responding to your comments because you guys are awesome. And I just realized I've been drawing after every episode just to summarize what I've been doing for some reason. I don't know. I like it, though. It's, 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 it's fun. So I'm going to keep doing that. Maybe I'll throw in the episode. I'll throw it at the end of the episode. Anyways, it's time for a Pokemon battle. Literally, there's no way to get past here without... First Pokemon is Emolga, a flying electric type Pokemon. Wow, we were just talking about one last time. Wow. Second Pokemon is Noctowl, a flying normal type Pokemon or a flying psychic type Pokemon. I'm not entirely sure. Let's just test that theory by crunching off its skull. <laughs> yes, Ray. Bite off its... It Was it super... Ah, fuck, I missed it. Damn it. All right, so the next Pokemon is Hitmontop, a fighting type Pokemon. And the evolved form of Tyrogue if you have its uh, attack and defense totally equal. It lowers my attack, but I've already got plus two, so now it's minus one. So I've still got plus one, so this should probably be a straight up KO. I just ate all my candy. It was amazing. Oh god, probably should not have done that. Weirdo, go away. You have a mail. I don't want it. Go away. You're weird. Bye. So question of the day is, what have I missed in gaming for like a week? Because basically when I'm at my cousin's, it's nothing but horror movies. Okay, not horror movies, but we just chill around and do stupid stuff. And you really should follow me on Twitter for when I'm at my cousin's house. Because when something stupid or painful happens, I usually tweet about it and include pictures. Go away, green thing. Nobody wants you. Can I surf and get that item over there? Because I totally want the item, but not the Verizon. Verizion. Not even going to try for that, because it's obviously going to be a Sea King or something I don't want. And by that, I mean the bulging thing in the water. That could be taken out of context. Then again, pretty much everything I say in these Let's Plays can be taken out of context and used in a disgusting manner, of which I should not, shall not approve of. Alright, so, so we're pretty much at full power. Let's just capture this Verizon Verizion. You know, the thing is, I'm not even saying Verizon on purpose. Like, I fucking hate Verizon. Shit company. But, uh, Ver I don't, like, want to offend you if your phone carrier is that company. If it is, I'm going to just suggest you might look into other companies. Like, uh, I use Virgin Mobile. They're pretty chill. Uh, there's, like, Net10. There's so many just good, like, g generic companies that... One, it don't throttle your internet or anything. They don't, they don't, excuse me, they don't do anything bad. They just give you what they say they're going to give you for the price that they're going to give it to you. So, yeah. Like, maybe the Can You Hear Me Now commercials worked back in the day when there wasn't a lot of towers everywhere, but there's cell towers freaking everywhere now. If you can't hear somebody, that's Terra Bells. Anyways, we're going to go lead off with a psychic type attack to put it to sleep, such as Hypnosis. And it's going to work, because this is a grass fighting type Pokemon. And it doesn't resist, or it's not immune to psychic type attacks. I don't recall. Yeah, no, no, we're good. You know, it's a friendly looking Pokemon. I'm going to go for the friendliest Pokeball ever. You know the weirdest thing, though? The Luxury Ball looks like those shadow Pokeballs that Mewtwo used to use way back in the first Pokemon movie, so I'm wondering, did they make them more friendly or something? Because it really looks like it. It's got the red light, it's got the black outline, and it's got the basic generic design. But then again, if you go back and look at it real closely, they were more gray and black rather than red and black, so I'm not entirely sure what's going up there. Now, if we had, uh, I, why, well, what? Why did I not weaken this thing already? Seriously. Uh, let's put it back to sleep with Hypnosis, because I, I don't really want to take damage from it. I know... It's a few levels behind me. Okay, yeah, now there's no excuse. Even if it is a few levels behind me, it's gonna hurt like a pound of bricks. And I don't know if you guys haven't noticed this, but Gringar, Gringar, Dre doesn't actually weigh too much, so pound of bricks would probably wreck him. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know I could stretch while sitting down. Anyways, it's a grass-type fighting, so... Pokemon, basically, electric type attacks are going to do half damage, which is, ri wow, th that thing has a ridiculously amazing defensive uh, stat layout, but still, I'm just going to keep on going for the Thunderbolt, there's always that chance it wakes up and I get it. it's a paralysis status to it, which is nice, um, I think it's other attack is like Leaf Blade, which I resist, but you know, I'm not exactly bulky, so 
I might take that like a plastic bag, which is a little more bulkier than a paper bag, but still. Alright, so it goes for Giga Drain, which is a special attack. I resist it, and so Swords Dance doesn't even boost it, so there's no problem there. I'm gonna put it to sleep with Hypnosis. Go, magical whooshy lines of sleep-inducing goodness. I don't even know how this thing uses Hypnosis. Probably its eyes with the spirals. Alright, so now that it's weakened and the music has slowed down a little bit, I'm not even sure why that happened. We're gonna go for an Ultra Ball. Now, Verizion, would you kindly stay in the Pokeball? I guess not. I'm going to have to get the Bear Mace now, aren't I? Alright, so obviously I don't have Bear Mace on me. You know, maybe it doesn't want to stay in the ball because just random capture RNG. Or maybe it's because I'm like always spraying repel. Like, my team must have built a resistance to repel because we have it on so often. You'd think we'd get like some sort of disease from it. Oh man, it's awake and it's setting up on me. Wonderful. Uh, we're going for another hypnosis because really <laughs> it can't OKO me. It could probably KO me, but it can't OKO me because it got, it's got Giga Drain, Torch Dance. Uh, I think it might have Leaf Blade and uh, Sacred Sword. Sacred Sword does not affect me. Giga Drain does not do crap damage. Leaf Blade is the only chance it has to OKOing me. And I don't think it's going to be using that for some reason because it wants to be captured and, you know, on the side of justice. And damn it, I thought that would work. You know, this is a Pokemon who loves justice. So it's like, <gasps> the power of justice compels you to join me. I'm going to go for a Pokeball because that worked on Cobalion. Yes, I can say one of the names right. Maybe that will impress this little feller. And by little, I mean tough, strong. Okay, what the frig do I have to say to get you to stay in the Pokeball? And it woke up. Goes for that Giga Drain. Alright, well, I should be thankful that I don't have the Liquid Ooze ability, because that thing would be killing itself instead of healing itself by using Giga Drain. Uh, let's put it back to sleep for the third time. Why does this take so long? Oh, hey, I missed. That's the best thing ever. When you miss an attack, that just means you're such an amazing trainer. You can't land a shot. Alright, Hypnosis. You know, wait a minute. I'm looking at it. Is it shiny? Legitimate question. I hope it's not. I mean, if this is a shiny spray, wow. Like, wow. That's. That's not that cool. I mean, I always wondered why wasn't Verizion like a darker shade of green with like some sort of combat boots instead of light green with pink? Because, uh, I get that they're going for the whole, it's a chick. It's a chick. At least I think they're going for it's a chick. I mean, in the Japanese movie, it had a female voice, so I'm not entirely sure if it's not a chick. But, I don't like the pink on it. I'm sorry. I just, man, it looks more like a sheep with that face. Especially, the face needs more, like, coarseness. I, I don't get it. I do know that that little black spot. I was going to say black spawn on its head, but then it fainted. No, we must capture Kuwabara. All right, so this time we're going to actually play it smart and just hit it in the face with a shadow wall because it resists that being a fighting type Pokemon. Actually, I don't think it resists that, does it? Now let's check that out real quickly. Shadow ball, and that, that, that's good. That's good enough for me. And now we should go for Thunderbolt because it resists that. Then again, I could have gone for Dark Pulse that resists that too. And Dark Pulse is weaker too. Anyways, this is like the perfect weak level of HP for it to be captured at. We're going to put it to sleep, go for a Pokeball, and that's that. We'll have it captured. If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Seriously, it's like as low as it gets. Go for Retaliate. So it's got Retaliate, Sacred Sword, Giga Drain, and Swords Dance. And only one of its attacks can actually hit me, and that one attack happens to be the one that doesn't get a stat boost. So that sucks for Verizion. Now let us capture it with uh, the, the Ultra Ball. It's got a two-point capture rate, then it's doubled to a four-point capture rate when the oppo opponent is asleep. So I'm assuming by tapping A, this is going to work. Tap A, tap A, tap A, tap A, tap A, tap A, oh, it tapped out. It's still asleep. This is getting annoying. I have to be places... Stay in the Pokeball, or I'm naming you Douche Muffin. Oh my gosh, you are now Douche Muffin. Oh, you're gonna like that name. 
Seriously, if that name had anything, like, like it doesn't really do anything. So I can say how it's. I I can see how it's not actually caring for being called douche muffin, but whatever. Being named douche muffin. Enjoy that. Yay! I mean, yay! I mean, I said yay, but it sounded out as gay, which I guess could work for happy, but I meant yay, so whatever. 640 in the national decks for Rizion, grass line Pokemon, grass fighting type, footprint looks, footprint. 6 foot 07. Wait a minute. Oh, Cobalion is 6 1. It's not taller than me. Okay. 440.144. 440.9 pounds. I read that with my eyes closed and I got it right, but then I, when I read it with my eyes open, didn't get it right. Legend says this Pokemon confounded its opponents with its swift movements. Oh, yeah, it's the one with the fast speed, isn't it? Alright, douche muffin it is. Let's see. D O U C H E. Oh, muffin won't fit. Oh, it's okay. I got this. Uh, let's see. Shorten it like a license plate. Muffin. Douche Muffin. Douche Muffin was transferred to box 3. Da 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 da. Let's read this sign. Route 11. And we're already done with this route. That was really fast. Huh. And now we are inside of our Pellucid City. We are, and there's Iris. I'm just gonna say. Yeah, that's about it for today. Question of the day is of the three, um. Sacred Horse Trio, Musketeer Trio, which is your, actually I have the four, which is your favorite? Keldeo, Terrakion, Cobalion, uh, is it Cobalion? Crap, I totally forgot. Cobalion, Cobalion, whichever one, or Verizion. Personally, I'd say Terrakion, just because it kicks so much, so much butt. And Keldeo was voiced by Vic McNognog, so I always kept on thinking of Full Metal Alchemist. So I didn't really like it too much, so meh. Uh, Resolute Form is still... It's totally pointless. I don't see why they have that, but whatever. Anyways, that's about wraps up for today. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you already have it. And, uh, I guess I'm back from Canada. Uh, not really sure. I brought maple syrup. I probably didn't bring maple syrup. I wonder how I, I wonder if I had fun. Hey, self, you should totally comment if you had fun. Oh, right, yeah, follow my Twitter for, I don't know, if anything does happen, it always goes on my Twitter before the channel because... Twitter's just easier. It's like, oh, hi, guys. I broke my leg. Won't be able to record this week, so I'm going to go put it up on Twitter and be like, yay, my leg's broken. Hey, the floor looks like a bunch of companion cubes. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye.